All right, we'll get started in about two minutes. We're just going to give everybody a couple more minutes to uh, do what they need to do to get on here. Um, and then we'll get to talking about coaching hosts, host coaching. <sighs> All right, it is seven o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And um, as people join, they can watch the replay on our team page um, or our group page, sorry. And um, I've learned how to get it to upload onto my YouTube as well. So people can watch it on um, my YouTube channel that way as well too. So welcome everyone to our team meeting tonight. We are talking about host, the host part of our business and specifically if uh, effectively coaching your hosts is what we're going to talk about today but before I get started I wanted to do a little bit of housekeeping items um, first I wanted to give some shout outs to everybody who has already put in their 200 PRV for the month of September um, there's 58 people in our team who has done that already this month so way to go you guys huge shout out for you guys there um, Susan Misson, Saren Vanzetti, Emily Howard, Kimberly, T sorry, Kim Tolbert, Laura Dunn, Amy Huff, Kristen Palmer, Mel Otway, Sonia Ash, Ashley Shaw, Shai Zillman, Chanel Burns, Shelly Hutchinson, Hutchins, sorry, Anita Johnson, Kim Ritter, Jacqueline Isman, Justine Creedlin, Kayla Campbell, Trisha Gerarder, April Miller, Jenny Huntsman, Tanya Louder, Brooke Edwards, Donna Pope, Tara Reynolds, Amanda Anderson, Michelle Postulate. I hope I pronounced that right, Michelle. Lindsay Matheson. No, sorry. Lindsay Mathis, Stacey White, Lexi Dam, um, Tasha Cast, Christy Lee Fraser, Karen Third, Melissa Drivers, Katie Graves. Jody Hutchinson. Nope, just Hunch, Hutch, sorry, I'm butchering names tonight. Jody Hitchens, Anita Montgomery, Melissa Jagman, Sherry Rigg, Christina Schiltz, Rachel Metcalf, Haley Wright, Brooke Dotson, Angela Matheson, Jill Newcomer, uh, Jarna Browning, Amy Pocknell, Christina Jordan. Debbie Evans, Casey Kremer, Izetta Sellers, Vicki Hayes, Lisa Mazeo, Melissa uh, Hussey, Clara, mm, Clara, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Grutter, Michaela Harrison, and Kathy Bowman. Way to go, you guys. Awesome job. Um, that sale that we had. Um, with items getting added to our closeout section really, really helped everybody's businesses. Um, we had a huge team wholesale volume that went from like 11,000 team wholesale volume to 30,000 team wholesale volume. So you guys definitely rocked that quick sale there. Um, items are still available for people to purchase. Um, so, you know, keep it sharing the closeout there. Um, another little housekeeping thing for you guys on the 20th, um, US 
time. Uh, Black Panther is available. And then on the 23rd, there's a bunch of the Harvest Collection items that are gonna be um, available. So I think it's the, itty, the Bitty Buddies, um, the Frankenstein Buddy Clip, and Zero from um, Nightmare Before Christmas, he will be available to purchase on the 23rd. So look at your news tab to and the product status list on that so you guys are in the know um, for all of that stuff. And let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help you guys. But I did want to point out, this is next month's warmer of the month. Um, it is called Mosaic Pumpkin. It's a great alternative to the pumpkin that uh, sold out. I cannot think of the name of it right off the top of my head, but it's in the Harvest Collection. Um, so if, people, if you have people who wanted that glass pumpkin that is in the Harvest Collection, I highly suggest you offer the Mosaic Pumpkin to them. It's a great alternative. Price-wise, the Mosaic will be on sale starting in October for $49.50 US dollars, um, and it is available while supplies last. Um, plugged in over here so it's kind of hard for me to get it but hopefully you can see it's a nice uh, orange color it's got um the orange and then black kind of uh uh the cement that they use for the mosaic and i'm totally having some crazy brain shortage here today but anyhow um it's be very, very beautiful. This is what the the lid part looks like for you guys. It's a metal lid. I like the leaves on there. It kind of gives it kind of a nice polished look to it. This is a white, just a simple clear bulb that it comes with. It's a 20 watt bulb. Um, if people want to change up the color a little bit more, they could probably throw in some colored bulbs in there, but just know it's going to be a 20 watt bulb for them on that. Uh, the scent is called Fairy Tale Pumpkin. And um, the description for it is an epic fantasy of harvest pumpkin, midnight black raspberry, and a whisper of black licorice. I did smell it before the meeting, but let me smell it real fast again for you guys. Um, I definitely smell the raspberry in there. Hints of that black licorice. Let me tell you what this reminds me of. This reminds me, if any of you have gone to San Diego and gone to Old Town San Diego, there is that candy store in Old Town San Diego. And it's when you walk into that candy store that's what this scent reminds me of that's what it smells like you've got the licorice because they have so many licorice scents the licorice scents and then they also have all the different kind of fruity fun old school um candies in there as well so if you mix the two together that's what you get with this scent um so for my family my husband likes the licorice i like the fruits when you we mix it all together in our candy bag and we open up that candy bag, that's the scent that you get is the fairy tale pumpkin. So great fruity licorice kind of scent there for people. Um, I like that right now the black licorice is not super strong. Um, it's more along the lines of the fruit scent for you guys. So hopefully that helps you. Um, don't forget you can get the brochure flyers for this and mail these out to people as well. Okay, back to business. Um, tonight's meeting, host, effective host coaching. Um, this is really, really big for your business. Um, when you ho coach your host, it sets a couple of standards. One, it sets the expectations that you have for them as the host, but it also sets the expectations that they have for you as the consultant. So when you're coaching and you're really working together, to make this party the best party it can possibly be. Um, it's not all on you to make this party be great, and it's not all on the host to make the party be great. It's the combination of the two of you guys working together to make the party be great. Um, so question to think, and a lot, I know that we have a lot of new team members this, this um, summer and everything, so it's you've booked a party, now what do you do, right? So that's kind of the idea that I'm taking with this team meeting. First thing you wanna do is have a host packet put together. You're gonna to wanna to have a letter from you in it. You're gonna to wanna to have invites, a guest list form that they can fill out, a catalog and order forms, the host checkoff sheet, host join brochure, and your, your Sensi story, or uh, what I like to call your Sensi resume. So here's an example. This is my host packet. It's upside down. There's the host packet. And inside I have all of those things. Um, I don't have a letter because I like to personalize the letter, um, but I have that saved on my computer 
and then I just print it out because what I put on that letter is the day that they plan on having the main event for their party, the type of party that we're going to be doing. Um, I add in there any specials that are going to be happening for their party um, and um, the time and all of that stuff. So I put in there three order forms for outside orders and a current catalog. Here's the host join brochure. So it it gives them information on what it what to expect for being a hostess and what rewards they can get. But it also has the compensation plan in here and talks about the starter kit and everything so that they can um, learn more about that. This is also a good segue into the host exclusive kit. We're going to talk more about that at our next team meeting, but just keep this in mind there for you. This is what I call my Sensi story slash resume. I just have a simple little card explaining why I became this consultant, things I've achieved as being a consultant, um, and something fun like that for them. Oh, I had I had a bunch of these that I need to update, but um, this is a little card that says host rewards, and it says your party is scheduled for blah, blah, blah date, and then it talks about all of this. This is something that they can have um, on their fridge so that they can see it and be like, oh yeah, I need to do this. They can circle what type of host rewards they're looking for and everything too. This is the um, guest list that they can fill out. Um, you can make up your own. I can even scan this and upload it to, for you guys so that you have it. It has their name inf information and then all of their guests name, address and contact information as well. The thing that's nice with this is they'll have it so they can mark off who RSVPs and everything, but you can also get a copy of it so you know who they invited and kind of help follow up with, with guests that way as well too. This is a fun sheet. It's the Tick Tap Post Tacto. It gives them nine tasks to complete. Um, it says place an X in the square as you accomplish each goal. The more squares you cross off, the better the prizes you earn. Earn a prize for completing three squares in a row, two rows of squares filled, four corners of the square or and or the full board. So um, this is just little host gifts that I can give them as thank you. So some of the items on here is have a friend schedule a party, hold your party on the originally scheduled date, call your guests the day before and remind them to bring a friend, set up a party goal with your consultant before your party, send the guest list to your consultant within seven days, get $100 in outside orders, have 10 adult guests in attendance at your party. Less, listen to the Sensi opportunity before closing your party. It takes about five to 10 minutes. And then have a $500 party before shipping and tax. Um, so for that kind of sets expectations there. And then they also can write on the back of the envelope that you guys can get out of the consultant store, who placed an order and how they paid for it. And they can keep track of things on this envelope as well there for them. Um, a unique take that you could do with instead of the um, host packet, um, especially since everything's kind of virtual these days, you can make a video and um, upload it to your YouTube channel or just have a video ma made up and you can then email or send it to them direct message. It's doing the same thing. It's like their host kit, but it is a video message from you so that you can explain how the party's gonna work um, and list off you know, that post checkoff sheet. You could send them a picture of it, um, things like that. So there's different ways to get around the host packet. Find a way that works best for you. If it's gonna be paper, send them paper. If it's gonna be virtual, send them virtual ones. But having that one-on-one -on -one contact is a huge key for you guys. So in that letter from you, you're gonna want to thank them you're gonna to want to explain what's in their host packet. You're gonna to want to set a goal for them to strive for. And I'll explain more on that in a few minutes. Um, you're gonna to wanna to tell them what the rewards are that they'll get when um, they hit that goal. You're gonna tell them what tasks you have for them to do before the party, during the party and after the party. And then you're gonna to want to give them your contact information as well. Um, so. The goal part to strive for, you want to set that goal because it sets expectations with them so that they um, know what, what you're expecting to get um, from the party, but it also sets expectations with them so that they know what they can expect from the party, right? So um, you'll show them how much they can earn as being a host. So for example, 
let's say you want them to have a 500 PRV party. Um, for me in here in the US, that would be me telling them it, when your, your goal to strive for would be a $500 party. The reason why is because you'll get $75 in free products and three items for half off. And that lets them go, oh, I was really looking at that um, warmer that I wanted. So I can get $75. So that warmer was $60. So I can get that warmer for free. And I still have $15 left over. So then I could get my six cent circles for free as well. And then I have three half price items. Um, let's say for example they were really excited about getting that air purifier they could get their air purifier for half off then and they would have an amazing party there for them to get, to get that those items so something that you also want them to do with the goal setting is once you've told them what you would like them to strive for have them create their wish list and with that wish list you can then during the party um, point out, hey, you know, our hostess is really excited to get her air purifier for half off. This is how she can get her air purifier for half off and kind of break it down. Doing that during the party helps your the guests, one, know what it's like to host a party. Two, they're like, what? She's going to get that air purifier that's like $275 for half price? That's an amazing deal. And all she did is get us all together here virtually online. I can do that. And I want that air purifier. So, you know, you can kind of do things like that. Um, or you can tell them about the warmer that she's trying to get or her cleaning supplies that she's trying to get. Or maybe she's getting ready to send somebody off to school or something, or she's trying to buy um, Christmas presents. And then you can explain why she wants the specific items for those Christmas presents. Maybe she's trying to get some Scentsy Buddies to put in her kid's stocking. You know, make it be a personal re reasons with the guests, which will help with your party sales as well too. Um, okay, so my tips for you guys, um, have four tips for when you're hosting, you're uh, coaching your hosts. Tip one, um, I found, I learned this from one of the trainings that I've watched. I, I don't remember who talked about it. Uh, I wanna say that maybe it was Jacqueline Roy, um, but it's the ABCs of hosting. And they are A, attendance, B, booking, and C, call all guests. So what Jacqueline had talked about was A, attendance. The more that come, the more the fun, right? So make sure that your host is getting people to the party. Booking, have your host find one person to commit to book a party from their party. And they, you know, incentivize them. When you get somebody before the party to book a party at your party, and they set a date with me before the party starts, you'll get blah, 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 whatever it is, you know, you'll get a free bar of your choice, or you'll get $10 to spend um, as a thank you for me, or you'll get an additional item for half off. You could use the perpetual booking rewards that way. Um, you know, there's lots of ways that you can get them incentivized and stuff. And then C, call all guests. Reminders go a long way. You want to call, or they want to call first those who have RSVP'd saying, yes, I will attend. And then they want to also call anybody. Um, so they want to call all, all RSVP'd guests the night before, 24 hours in advance to remind them to come. Um, and then anybody that they invited that has an RSVP, they're going to want to probably get in touch with them maybe a week three, four, five days before the party actually happens to one, make sure that they've gotten their invite and saw the invite and then talk to them about the Sensi and what it is. And then they'll invite them to come to the party and maybe get an RSVP that way as well. It's also a way for them to connect. And it, let's say somebody saw the invite, but they can't actually physically attend the virtual party or whatever it is, but they still want to shop. Then the host can collect an, an order from them before the party or guide them how to place an order that way as well too. Um, that personal connection is huge. So you want to make sure that um, they uh, send out um, that message in voice. Let's say they're not a big calling type of person, you know, 
hey, Jane, how's it going? Are you going to make it to just sending a friend a reminder that you are coming to my party? Let's say they that's not something they want to do. That's okay. They can tweak it a little bit and make a voice message and send it um, through instant messenger or voice to text, things like that. Um, and they don't really, they shouldn't text it to them, but they want to have a recording of their voice because people can hear the sincerity in people's voices when it's an actual voice call versus a text message or a typed message. So that personal um, connection goes a long ways when you're thinking about your host contacting their guests. Which actually goes to my second tip, the personal connection, right? Don't mass invite, don't have the mass invite. If you have a Facebook um, event or group page set up for their party, tell them to invite a select number of people because um, I like to say 40 guests in four minutes, right? And something else they can do is they can do a teaser post on their Facebook page and say, hey, I'm hosting a Sensi party. Who of my friends would be interested in coming to it? And then whoever says me, add me, add me, add me, add me, those are the people to add. People don't like to be mass invited to things because it's kind of a turnoff. You're like, oh, yeah, great. She's inviting me, but she's just, she invited like 500 people, you know, they want to have that personal invite from somebody, you know, have them message people and say, hey, I'm hosting a party. I would love to have you come to it because I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, I I invite, I added it. Make sure you um, find that VIP page. This is what it's titled, um, you know, or something along that line. I like to tell my hosts, if you wouldn't invite them to your house, then don't mass invite them to your virtual party. Uh, yes, virtual parties can have anybody attending it, um, but you still want to keep it personalized and stuff like that. Um, and interact for the personal connection. Um, basically, you want your host to show up and stay, right? Nobody wants to come to somebody's house where the host isn't even at their own party. And the same thing is true with your virtual parties. Nobody wants to attend a virtual party that the host doesn't even attend themselves. So if the host isn't going to make it, there's no point in hosting that party and, and doing that party. The host needs to be there and be present at all times during the party. They need to be interacting with posts. They need to be doing posts. Um, they need to be hyping their friends up about this and explaining things that they're excited for, commenting on posts that you do, things like that. And part of the reason is the algorithms in Facebook, but it also helps their friends get and family get excited about coming to the party and seeing one another and being there and doing some shopping, right? So um, that brings me to tip number three, which is the 40 guests in four minutes. Um, they should make a list, kind of like the list that I showed you guys earlier. They're gonna wanna do that teaser post on social media um, and they're going to want to follow up with all of those people that they personally invite. And then those who, who are part of that teaser post saying that, hey, I'm doing a, a party, who would like to come, make sure that you, they follow up with a personal message from them and thanking them for wanting to attend, letting them know that they've been invited and to look for um, that invitation, or they can send the link to the party that way as well too. And then my fourth tip, tip was the goals. And we've already kind of covered them, you know, make sure you set expectations, show them how much they can earn and create that wish list. That wish list is huge for you because that is a selling feature that you can use at the party. A um, couple things to keep in mind, like I said, teamwork between you and the host is the key. They know your expe expectations and you know their expectations. And I found a couple things on, um, the workstation that I wanted to show you guys, there was two things. There's an online party checklist and a host coaching checklist. And I'm going to share that with you here in just a minute. Let me screen share that. Um, all right, so this one here, let me get back up to the top, is our online party checklist. And it just kind of goes through, you know, you want to set up a party page on your workstation set up a Facebook event page or group. 
Um, you're going to coach your host, take time to explain the host rewards and offer incentives, set a goal with your host and have them create a wish list. Um, before the event, be sure your host invites friends on Facebook, but avoids over inviting or spamming. The host can send individual invites to specific friends on Facebook through private messages and emails, including a URL link to the event in the message to make it easy for potential guests to find your party and explain to your host how the event will work and ask them to commit and participate during the party to encourage other guests to do the same. Then make an outline for your party and engage with guests before, during, and after the party. Like, and make sure your host is doing this. Like every party, you want to create a positive memorable experience for your customers. So you wanna do that and you wanna have your host doing that as well too. Um, ask the host to follow up with guests after the event. Um, so you wanna encourage your host to thank guests for attending or placing orders. The host can also share party information with guests who weren't able to be there, but maybe had shown interest in being there um, and so on and so forth. Invite guests to join your, v your Facebook VIP page or like your business page on Facebook as well. And then you're gonna wanna do the uh, follow-up, have a follow-up system and reach out to customers um, at least one week, one month and three months after they've received their orders and place their orders um, so that you can stay connected with them that way. So this is, like I said, this is on your workstation. This is a great checklist to have for every single party that you do online, but it's even a great checklist just for any party, right? Your basket parties, your online parties, your um, in-person parties, your fundraisers, all of that stuff. This is a great checklist to do. The other one that is a great checklist is the host coaching checklist. It'll have your host name and contact information on there. The goal that you guys have set for them to, for their party. And then it lists out the different days and time types of sessions you're gonna have when you're coach, host coaching them. The first one, you're gonna wanna reach out to them right after they book that party. So you're gonna want to put the party on your PWS, um, send the host to save the date email, um, send them a packet, let your host know when you'll contact them next and ask the host three favorite, ask for the host three favorite products for the party page and th that you can set up on the, um, on their, on your website. Um, so others can see it and you can say, you know, Jane really enjoys the Scentsy Go because of this reason. And Jane likes this scent pod to go with her Scentsy Goes for this reason. Um, she also loves the line of products so that her dog Susie always gets a nice bath and smells absolutely amazing you know so there's things like that then three to four days after the booking party booking the party will be your session number two and they're gonna you're gonna want to co confirm with them that they got their host packet decide together what whether you will use postcard invites email invites social media or a combination of those tools actually you're gonna want to do that in advance because you're gonna want the postcards to be in the host packet if you're gonna have them mail them out. If you're gonna mail them out, you're gonna to wanna to get that guest list with the addresses returned to you. So that's something for you guys to decide together. Um, uh, ask your host to start compiling the guest list and email it to you. Coach your host on the importance of over inviting and share ideas for inviting more guests. So um, I like to just keep it to a select number. I don't think you want to be inviting 500 people to your party um just because it's it kind of steps outside that personal thing especially if they're inviting their entire friends list on facebook and they haven't chatted with somebody in a long time nobody wants to be invited to a party that you haven't heard from somebody in two years and all of a sudden they're asking you to come to this party and spend money so that they can get free stuff so be mindful of the guest list coach your host on importance uh oh no uh, encourage your host to start making a wish list for the host rewards and let your host know when you'll contact them again the next time. And then a week before the party, you're gonna to wanna to contact them the third time and you're gonna, you can give them some testers and stuff. And there's other, you know, make sure you have the RSVPs and all of that things. And session four will be a day or two before the party. You're gonna to wanna to get the attendance update, um, reminder calls, uh, know, let them know when you're going to arrive if it's an in-person party. Otherwise, let them know what time they need to arrive to the party if it's a virtual party. Um, and, and, and explaining exactly when, what time that virtual party is going to be set up in on Zoom and all of that stuff as well. 
Uh, and you can also talk to them at that point about becoming a consultant and having that their party be their launch party. The day of the party, you're going to want to make sure everything's set up 30 more minutes before the party begins. Um, have a little mini goal maybe for your host. Um, ask your host whether any guests might be interested in hosting the party. Determine the closing date for guests. Share the closing date with the guests. Collect guest emails and discuss the, the perpetual party reward with your host and how you guys are going to use that. The day after the party, email your host to thank them. Um, you're also gonna want your host to thank guests that attended, and you're gonna wanna thank guests that attended. Remind your host of their closing date and encourage them to continue collecting orders. Um, and email all guests who share their email address with you to send them a thank you. I also like to send personal messages on Facebook for anybody who attended um, that way that I can quickly personally message and reach out to them to see if they have any more questions. And then you want to follow up one to two weeks after delivery with your hostess. Check in with your host to see how they're enjoying their, their items. Ask your host to consider hosting another party after the next catalog launches. Um, that helps you to keep your calendar full, right? They, there's no reason why they can't host a party every six months. It's different catalogs every six months. Um, email guests to see how they are enjoying their orders as well. Uh, and then that gives some examples of the save to date email, the host letter, and so on and so, so forth. So this is also in your workstation um, under the uh, training tab, I believe. I just typed in host coaching and I found all the different PDFs in there for you guys. If you can't find it on your workstation, please let me know and I will upload it. I'll probably upload it anyways onto our group pages, but um, you know, search your workstation, kind of get familiar with things as well. I like to have these printed off so I have them for each party and I can put them in a folder with all of that person's contact information as well too. Um, that is kind of it tonight on what the things you guys should be doing to host uh, effectively coach your host. Um, is there, let me know if you have, guys have any questions. I'm going to go look here real fast and see if anybody has any questions on Facebook and it does not look like it. All right. So if nobody has any questions, that is our meeting for tonight. Our next meeting will be the first weekend of October. Let me get you guys the date here. Um, that will be October 2nd and 3rd. So those of you in the US and Canada, it'll be October 2nd at 7 p.m. Those of you in Australia, it's October 3rd at noon. And to our UK friends, that I'm sorry, it's so in the middle of the night for you guys. It's 3 a.m. Um, UK time. Um, it's just with the time zones, it gets really, really tough. and um, so, but I do record everything and post it on our group page on Facebook, and I am getting them uploaded to my YouTube channel so people can go back and see them, find them easier that way as well too. Um, our, so that meeting, the first weekend of October will be on the join aspect of our business, and we'll be talking about ways to share your story and how to create your Sensi story and why you want to create it and things like that. So I hope this segment has been helpful. We have one more course for it, and then we will start a whole new round of stuff with the holiday season in the middle of October. Um, I have some fun things to help you guys boost your holiday sales and things like that. So look for those special trainings to come. One more little thing. I was looking at maybe doing another um, light your fire kind of program. Um, I'll send out some information about that, and I was thinking of running it in October um or maybe november so i will send out information and see who might be interested in doing that um and i'll look for that information to come soon all right you guys have an amazing end of september there's lots of time to get those sales and get your 200 in so that you can start building that consistency habit start calling and messaging friends and family and getting those parties booked because now you know how to coach your host so that you can have amazing parties and I know you guys are going to have an awesome holiday season. I can't wait to see what everybody accomplishes. Have a great weekend. Have a great night. And I will catch you guys next week during um, our trainings and things that happen during the week on our Facebook pages. All right. Have a great week. Bye, you guys.